Hi, I'm Jeannie Wheeler with Jeannie Nadia Studios. This week's styling tip for photography is going to be talking about fabric. And I really love to use fabric in my work because it adds texture and, of course, um, different elements of color. And it can also be like a prop for the model, something for it to hold with her hands. There are three types of fabric that I, I tend to use, and I really love them. Thule is my number one. And as you can see in these photos here, with Thule, you can, of course, drape it over a model's head, wrap it around her, give it to her to hold. You can extend um, a dress with Thule, too. It's very cheap, and it comes in different styles. There's shiny, matte, sparkle. Um, shiny is great when you're working with a speed light. It kind of highlights the edges. And, of course, there's a wide variety of colors, so you can basically have an entire rainbow of it for very, very cheap. It's easy to transport too because it's so lightweight. Um, it packs down fairly easily. And uh, I've talked about when my fabric tape tutorial about using it in backgrounds. Uh, but mostly when I have it for models, it's something that I will drape around them, over them, in my self portrait work. I'll do kind of similar and just playing around with it, right? Uh, but Tuli, it's probably my number one go to. Second for me would be netting. And netting's kind of in the Thule family. If you're going into a craft store, it's usually in the same section. But netting, as you can see in these photos here, um, it comes also in a variety of colors. It, it's fairly cheap as well. Um, and of course, because it's so lightweight, you can attach it to the hair very easily uh, and use it in various ways. Like this first photo here, I just have it clipped to her hair. And the next photo here is just draped over the headpiece. But again, netting, it, it provides some different texture and color and a kind of a cool look with it. And then last here, I have lace. It comes in a large variety, right? And you can buy very small pieces for fairly cheap. Uh, if you're buying large pieces, sometimes that could get a little more expensive. But scrap pieces are fairly cheap. Uh, you can look online, bargain bins, old shirts sometimes have pieces of lace in and I've cut them out to use them. And you get the most variety with color and style because there's so many kinds of lace out there. And you can get some very unique laces too, especially if you're looking at vintage things or um, various things you find in thrift stores, right? So if you look at these photos here, again, lace, uh, I usually, you know, throw it over the model's face. I've used it as parts of my headpieces that I design, of course. Um, but lace, you know, don't discount it. You can actually do some very unique things with it. You can even... Um, I've seen makeup tutorials where uh, MUAs cut it out and use eyelash glue to attach it around the eye area. And so you can create all kinds of neat things with lace. So anyway, uh, hopefully with these three different types of fabrics, you get some ideas for your own work. Uh, again, I encourage you to just play with stuff. Um, there's really no right or wrong way to do these things with fabric. It's all experimental. So thanks for listening and uh, have happy photo shoots.